The Oscars are exactly one month away. That means we're going to figure out who takes the crown for Best Animated Feature. As a kid, I didn't care about who won Best Actor or Actress or the most important award, the Best Picture. I was there to see who was going to win Animated Film. I would beg my parents to let me stay up just to see who would win. Now it's just a tradition that I set out to see every movie in the Best Animated Film category. Out of all the films nominated this year, Robot Dreams caught my eye the most. It's not playing in any theater around my area or the world, I think. It premiered at a film festival and I wasn't there for it. I guess I was just too busy watching The Little Mermaid. So in order to watch this, I had to switch professions from a critic to this. If you, <laughs> if you see what I'm saying. Why am I telling you all this information? To showcase that the hard search I went through to find this movie, by the time the credits rolled, I realized, damn, this was worth it and this movie was way better than Elemental. Which I, I still don't know why the Academy hasn't replaced that nomination with TMNT. Like, I'm still waiting for them to fix that. Robot Dreams is about a dog who forms a friendship with a robot. They spend time together until he is forced to leave him at the beach. Will dog ever see him again? This might be one of the most simplest films of 2023. So simple that the movie has no dialogue whatsoever. The entire 1 hour and 34 minute film, not a single character says anything. Yet the film is constantly entertaining. Dog and Robot are not the most interesting characters in cinema. They have no depth to them whatsoever. But the trials that they go through are the characters here. Dog being alone after he has to leave Robot at the beach, as he sits at home depressed, no one to talk to, how he must move on until he can see him again and make the most of life and keep moving forward is hauntingly relatable. Meanwhile, Robot is stuck motionless on the beach as he watches the seasons go by, left wondering if Dog has moved on or has forgotten about him, and this is captivating. Dog and Robot's ambitions, the tribulations, the friendship, the heartbreak are the characters, and it causes these two to be full of relatability. We only see Robot and Dog hang out for 10 minutes in the entire movie, but his dreams make it feel like we've watched this relationship grow for 10 years. The music in this movie also feels like its own character. Since the characters don't speak throughout the entire film, the music helps certain scenes elevate into being absolutely joyous to watch. Whether it's upbeat, sad piano keys, earth, wind, and fire, the music is a major element that is flawless here. The animation is so colorful and fluid. Despite that new era of animation we're in, it's always nice to go back to the grandfather of animation, 2D. The characters don't speak, but the facial expressions perfectly convey what they are feeling always. As both of these characters grow slightly distant from each other because they haven't seen each other for a while, the movie keeps you remembering that these two are destined to be with each other. But sometimes life has other plans that will cause you to maybe move on until maybe your past will line up again. A movie about a robot and a dog speaks volumes about how to let people go for a while until the timing is right, and I don't even get how it's possible because no one speaks any types of volumes at all because this movie is just silent. God, aren't movies just amazing? The main point I'm trying to make is, if the movie made me cry during this song, yeah, this is good.